guys, Brendan from TurboSmart here with Chris, our head engineer. As of late, we've just released this new anti-lag valve and we've had a ton of questions about it. So we've got Chris here to go through some of them with you. Um, Chris, could you explain why we've made this valve? Yes, good question actually. Um, a lot of people are asking how they can get this on their car to get some flames because we put up that Facebook video not long ago. Um, it's actually not why we made it. We made this product more for I guess certain motorsport categories, uh, rally in particular, World Rally Cross, where there's a lot of time where they're off the throttle coming into a corner and they want to maintain their turbo speed. Awesome. So if you could quickly explain how to plumb this up. Sure. So basically when you buy this in the box, you'll get the valve unit and a few accessories for the inlet of this. Um, but more importantly, we don't know what configuration this will be put on. So we sell separately the outlet weld fittings um, and this determines what engine configuration you've got, whether you've got a four cylinder, a V8, three cylinder, whatever it can be, they're basically universal. Um, so you buy this separately and you weld your pipes onto this which go to the exhaust manifold. Now the critical part of this is you want these pipes that come out of this to go as close to the ports as possible in the cylinder head, which means fuel coming out of the combustion chamber has a nice and early time to mix with the air that's coming in through here and that means it's easier to ignite, which will then mean your turbo's fuel characteristics will be better as well. So if you plumb that in later, it's harder to get the fuel to mix with the air and then it's also harder to ignite it because the temperature's not as hot and basically it won't work as well. Awesome. What about the actual ECU strategies to get this working? Okay, so you will need, well ideally you need a standalone ECU control. Um, basically it will need to enable anti-lag when you're off throttle uh, and when you're off throttle that'll trigger an output, ideally a solenoid and then that solenoid is driven by either an air compressor or a vacuum pump which will dictate to open the valve. If you've got a compressor, you feed the bottom to lift the valve. If you have a vacuum pump, you'll suck on the top to lift the valve as well. So it just depends on how you want to go about plumbing that. But once that's activated, the ECU will then need to add some fuel and retard the ignition quite heavily to get that combustion event late in the exhaust ports and into the runners, which will then spool the turbo. So one question we actually get asked a lot is, will this valve help my turbo spool quickly? Look, unfortunately it won't. Um, this is designed to keep your turbo spinning between gear changes or when you're off the throttle. Uh, it won't change its spool characteristics at all. So if you've got a big turbo, it's not going to make it spool like a small turbo. All right, thanks for your time today, Chris. Um, we really appreciate all the info. Guys, this valve will be available at the end of the month, so stay tuned.